Hi, everyone. My name is Queen Thule. I am so, so thrilled today that I have three amazing powerhouses with me to our goal today is to pray for the planet, to pray for the two legged, the humans and the four legged, the animals. And I am just so thrilled that each of you could be with me today. I have Levon, I have Ben, I have Queen Matcha. They're all amazing people and they all do totally different things. And today it's about us coming together really just as a team because the planet is not doing well, as we know. We are not going to talk politics or anything like that. This is purely about faith and about praying together and uplifting the planet and its inhabitants, because we all believe that we're all connected. We're all here, just as you have charted your journey to be here on planet Earth. So have the trees. So have the animals, the horses and the dogs and the cats. Everything that you see and touch is here for a reason. So we are really happy to be here and hope this helps the planet, which I know it will, and you as well. And we are going to send this everywhere once this is finished. So it's very impromptu, but very powerful. Which one of you, what we're going to do so that you all know is each one of us kind of has a different way that, or person or thing that they want to pray for. Of course, it's the earth, but we are going to be specific and who would like to start? I'll go first, if that's okay. Sure. And I'm going to light a candle while you say who you would like to pray for. Okay. Today, I would like to pray for humanity, specifically all those who are suffering, um, not at their own hands, but at the hands of others and uh, having things taken away from them or losing their homes or um, lost their jobs or just everybody that is hurting. And also those who have found themselves to be in a medical situation that they didn't plan for. So my, my goal today is to play, pray for humanity at large and all those specific that are really needing the help and the faith from the rest of us. So I'm a light worker, we're all light workers. And I know I send my light and life out to everyone all the time. And um, my goal today is to pray for them specifically and uh, put, have God put a hedge of protection around them as they go through what they need to go through in their journeys. That's awesome. There's um, so many people in hospitals. There's so many people right. that have, especially now with um, the news today, I mean, it being, you know, for 29, 23, um, all over the United States anyways, um, stores are closing, um, like big stores that we all go to. They're all closing like, it's kind of like getting scary. So yes. people are losing their jobs and people are in hospitals. People are sick. And I was just thinking about if people are losing jobs and then they're not feeling well, they won't go to the hospital because they won't be able to afford the bill or even an ambulance ride is a lot of money. As you guys know, it's like, a, it's a lot. Yep. And so, yes, let's pray for everybody all across the, the world because um, Ben's from Nigeria and you know, everywhere. I'm just seeing videos that people need help everywhere. Every, Egypt, worldwide. Sudan, everywhere, everywhere. This is worldwide. Yeah. This is, this yeah. is, this is for, this is for the globe yep. that um, I, I would, I'd like to pray for. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Um, do you guys want to pray separately or do you want to talk and then pray all at the end? You tell me which works better well, for you. Shall we pray at the end? You want to pray at the end? Okay. Yeah. yeah, that makes perfect sense. I actually, and I saw, I'm sure you guys saw the coverage of um, Sudan lately. That's been pretty bad, huh? Yes. Like with the, yeah. But it's, yeah. Our, but it's many countries, Ukraine, it's everywhere. Every, it's everywhere. It's all over the world, Julie. Yeah. It's just, it's just incredible. You can't look anywhere and not see some kind of devastation. Yeah. Which is why we're here, which is why we have to shine right. our light. Right. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Cause I'm getting a lot of pictures of people in in their houses and also people that are older and can't leave their houses right you know okay perfect all right ben who would you like to pray right. for today uh, well um i would like to pray for i know the earth uh, humanity especially like um for love and harmony between the sexes 
Because if you guys, I don't know if you noticed, there's been a lot of, you know, some, like, um, few weeks later, um, days ago, I was on the social media and all they were showing me was how the men are like saying, all oh, these ladies are this and that. And the ladies are trying to say, oh, um, we are better, you know, some stuff, stuff like that. Like they're trying to say one is better than the other. And that is bringing like friction, not just in the society, but in the family as well. And, you know, like the family is very important because that is where like we bring up the next generation. And if you bring people up in this kind of uh, idea of separation, you know, we need to know that we are just one side of the, uh, two sides of the same coin, you know, like moving, so like we can move forward and become a better society because a lot of things going on in the world is because of all those tiny, tiny, minute um, quarrels, like maybe like um, differences. That's why it's even causing bigger ripples around the world. Um, even I've been in a situation like uh, last week with my say, family gathering and they were just having conversation. Oh, maybe you should stop working. I should switch the roles. And I'm like, hey, we need to start embracing our our differences and you know appreciate our strength because in that way we can become stronger. And you know, as we are stronger in the family unit, to reflect in the collective, to reflect as a whole, oh, you know, in, for humanity. So, and I, I've I have been. You know, in the side of, oh, you know, like I'm a guy and I try to say, oh yeah, the ladies, sometimes they act different, you know, why do they do this? But now I've become, I've understood more now that, hey, you know, God made us for that reason to be different so we can come together and be stronger, yeah. you know? So I would love for that, like for the whole world to realize this, even, I mean, God can just nudge us, you know, give us the wisdom to, to utilize our strength and um, embrace our differences for the good for the whole world, you know. So yeah. that's what I want to pray for. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And most people don't pray for something like that. I don't think I've ever heard something like people, you know, people pray for the world peace and that sort of stuff, but not like that. And everything you're saying is true because we are stronger together, right? We always and our differences are a good thing. So they're supposed to be like that so that we can help each other. We're not supposed to be the same. We're supposed to be, like you said, two sides of the same coin. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. So you've even noticed this like within your own family or locally when you've talked to other people yeah. that you know. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I noticed like I was on, I usually I don't, I don't, you know, when you scroll on the phone, just, I don't do that. I do it once in a while, but I stop myself. But I noticed like maybe four days ago, I was doing it into the night and I was asking myself, why am I doing this? But then I noticed that I a team of what I've been, I've been, um, the, the social media was showing me was just the same thing. The, the girls on one side, they were arguing, oh, why do you guys do this? So then a few days later, I was thinking, what am I going to pray for? Then that came up like, hey, this, this, um, this rift between us, you know, I mean, we have, we've had make tracking in the past, which was an awesome period. Most people don't know, don't remember. Now we have pay tracking and we've seen how it's going. But I feel like we just need to come to the right balance. And I, I don't know how it's going to be, but I know it's going to be amazing. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. why I want to pray for that. Yeah. Because you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, if you think and, and you know, just in the United States, they try to divide us on every level, right? They try to divide us with politics, you know, Democrat, yeah. Republican, that's where they start. And then they go down and they, and this is, this is the, the biggest divide. Cause if you can divide humans, right? Males, females, I mean, forget it. I mean, if we can't even talk to each other, then, then they've won. So exactly. this is very fundamental because we have to stick together. We don't know where we're going. We, but we're in it together. We're here together. And we all charted this together. So, yeah, we have to to try to help each other. And instead of pull away and think you're a jerk or whatever, I'm better than you. No sex is better than any. We're all the same to me. We're all equal. We all need each other. We all need each other. Girls exactly. need guys. Guys need girls. All None of, you know, it's like, yeah, I agree. 
that's a beautiful thing to pray for. And we're, de we're definitely going to pray for that. I'm, I'm really glad that you got that. Thank you very much. That's a big one. Lavon, my friend. Yes. So today uh, my goal is to pray for all of the children in the world. Um, children are like one of our most vulnerable um, just groups. <laughs> and so many of them across the world are not, you know, properly cared for or just protected. And I just want to pray for them to just, I don't know, hopefully just I don't know, bring more light to the children who need it, to those who are in just unfortunate situations. A lot of these really young children are being born with more and more gifts. I don't know if people have noticed it, but a lot of them are really advanced and they're going to be like, they're going to be our leaders and, you know, and, you know, in decades. And so just praying for them, praying for the earth for them because they are inheriting this earth and we have to take care of it now so that they have a solid place, you know, um, a beautiful, safe place to live, you know, decades from now um, when we're no longer here. So just praying for all of them, praying for their safety, um, for their care, for their protection, all of that. Yeah, they definitely need us because they're pretty vulnerable on their own because they're so young and so small. I have a client who um, will probably be joining us the next time. And she's the one that had suggested this, like I had it in my mind. And then the next day we met and she said, you know, we should all try and get together. And I was like, okay, there's the confirmation. And she has a daughter. I don't know if she's three or four. She's, she's special. And I mean, special in the best way, special, not special because she's different, special because she's she has gifts and then they misread her gifts like they did for her mother, right? So those of us that have been gifted, like you guys, I know for me too, they thought that, you know, you're different, something's not right in a bad way, but really they're just gifted and the hu the bigger humans don't see it. They just don't understand it. They're like, well, I don't get it. This person's a little bit maybe behind, but what's happening is they're just going down a different road because they're actually brilliant. And nobody can see it yet, except for the parent who can see it because, you know, that's how they are. So though the, those are the ones like that are kind of put to the side. And then the ones that are, are don't have any protection at all, or, you know, have very little they're they really need help as well. And that's everywhere, you know, cause they are the future. And if we don't protect the planet, there's not going to be anything to, to give to them. Yep. So children are important. And I want to pray for the animals because that's always my heart, the four-legged. So uh, the horses and uh, I don't know if you guys, you may not follow this, but they've been taking a lot of the wild horses off the plane, uh, you know, the plains meaning, you know, in the West and stuff. And they're supposed to be protected, but they're not. They're throwing them back in and then they're going off to really bad places and not coming back. And it's all part of a, the BLM is doing this and that's land bureau of land management and it's been happening for a while which needs to stop um but there are so many animals that uh really again they're just like the children they need help they are desperate they have nobody to help them in so many countries especially the poor countries but even here in where i am in south carolina we have animals all the time that people just push to the side and throw out because somebody's having a baby and they can't feed the animals so trying to find it in another home they just like throw it out somewhere so I would like, I will always want to pray for the animals because um, that's my heart and they're part of this. They charted with us and, you know, they are there to help us. They're our guides. I mean, I've had my guardians for a really long time. And for those of you that have them, I mean, you know that they are there to take your energy. They're there to help you. They're there to heal you. They'll do anything for us. No matter how badly they've been mistreated, they'll always help the humans. And especially also the lions, the elephants, stuff like that, they're very much a part of this, holding down the planet and the light, waiting for us to wake up. They're like, you guys are stupid, you humans, wake up. <laughs> so, you know, put your best foot forward. That's what they say to me. So, you know, we need, so, you know, all of this combined, we're all on this planet to help each other. And if everybody took a few minutes and prayed for, you know, in these areas and beyond a lot. It's all just about helping each other be stronger, accepting each other for differences. It's a good thing we're different. 
that's a good thing. We see things differently. That means we can help each other see things that I can't see. You can help me and vice versa. So it's, it's beautiful. That's the way it's supposed to be. So awesome. All right. Well, let's do some praying. Um, you can feel free to pray out loud. I'm going to use some light language probably and do whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're just going to uphold all of these images in our mind and pray out loud for the planet, the children, males, females, everyone just getting along. And also those that are sick and also those that have left us way too early that were helpers because they're angels too. So I am ready if you guys are. Okay. All right. I am actually going to see if I can put on some music in the background for you guys. I don't know if you can hear it. You might not be able to. Maybe I shouldn't do that. All right. If you guys are ready, just close your eyes and get comfortable. And you can pray in any way that feels good to you. And don't forget to call in all of your team if you haven't done so. This is what we do individually and as a group. Just going to call in all the archangels. So Archangel Michael, please be with us now. Archangel Uriel, please be with us now. Archangel Gabriella, please be with us now. Archangel Raphael, please be with us now. Archangel Metatron, please be with us now. Thank you for protecting us as we pray for the earth, for the children, for the men and women of this planet all over the world, for those that are sick, for those that have already departed, and also for the animals. Call in all of my ancestors, their ancestors, and if you have, if you are all receiving messages, if you want to say the messages out loud, feel free to do that as well. Wow, so I'm seeing for Ben, I'm seeing you help others with your artwork, with what you write and what you read. <clears throat> And Macha, I see you holding up a white light for others. Wow. Almost like an angelic white light. And Levan, you have the sound, like down, like you're calling people with sound. You're all calling people in different ways. One with writing, one with light, and one with sound. Combined, and then with my voice, with the light language, that's like on all levels. Do you guys see that? Wow. They're asking each one of you to um, bring in your masters more, bring in your um, ancestors more, lean on the angels more because they want to help you and you're not calling them in enough. They can do more for you, if that makes sense. Thank 
cái này cho em nghe Vavon, what are you getting? Because I could feel you're getting something. I'm getting <clears throat> images of um, children like in different countries who are being forced to like work. Spirit is showing me them and um, <clears throat> like this light coming down surrounding them. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Because he can get to them anywhere. Doesn't matter where they are. He can get to all of them. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Send it, masters. I'm getting mm -hmm. like, especially in uh, India or where they yes. um, keep yeah. them in um, like, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, when they make them work, like to make a phone, like an iPhone, something like that, mm -hmm. like um, yeah. one after another, yeah. like an assembly line. That's what I'm seeing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like Pakistan, like that's countries like that. And they're forced like, like in those clay fields and they're having to make bricks, like it's just it's like an assembly line and they they can't go to school they can't get education and just like they're being they're going to be protected mm -hmm. they're just reminding us that every prayer matters every light matters and even if you think that it's not getting through, it is. That's just a false fear or a tactic, right? So it is getting through. We ask that they would change their circumstances. They would be protected. They would be lifted up and be able to have new opportunities and to be safe. I'm asking for all the protection around the animals because the animals also help the people. Ben, what are you getting? Are you getting anything? I'm just praying that I guess. And matcha, I, I'm, I see you holding up a white light, like uh, it's got like a white crystal on the end mm -hmm. and it's the white lights going through it. So as you like turn it, it's everywhere. It's going far and wide. That's what I'm seeing. That's how I feel. I feel that I am uh, holding a very white, bright candle, mm -hmm. and it is spreading through the world, into the world consciousness to help others, and to bring more light into the world to overcome the evil. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Never underestimate your personal light and the light that you have, because it goes everywhere into all those places. There's nowhere it can't go no. because you're protected. You're all protected. Yeah. Saying, be not afraid. You're right where you need to be.
Uh, every one of your elders is showing up right now. You may, you may or may not know, but I can see that they are all showing up from the other side to help us. So it's kind of like to bridge the gap. From that side to this side to help the planet. You are much stronger than you think you are. And they're saying never underestimate that. Never underestimate your power to help others and yourself. Yeah. All right, everybody, take a deep breath in, and as you do, just open your heart, deep breath in, and let it out. Another deep breath in, just open your heart even more and let it out. Right. So open your eyes when you feel comfortable. How do you guys feel? Okay. Oh, I feel amazing. This, go ahead. I'm really happy we're able to do this. Thank you all for doing this. This, I was just shown the three of you, sound, light, and movement. So um, sound is Levon, and then light is Matcha, and movement is Ben. So if you think about all, this is basically the reason that we came together today was because we can cover so much in so many different areas when we all come together, which I didn't even realize how that was going to show up or anything until they just showed me that. The, re the reason, because what you all bring with you when we're all together, it covers like every level to reach somebody, right? The light, the movement, or the sound and how people react to things. So that's why it was so important for us to get together this way today which is awesome, really awesome. And you guys are powerhouses, every one of you separately. So to, to do this together is even more powerful. So never doubt how strong we are together because separately you can do amazing things, but together we can go anywhere in the world and go to any darkness and shed light 
and the darkness will just flee. That's amazing. So if you think about a person or an animal or anything, there's only certain ways that people receive, but with all of us together, one of us will get through, mm -hmm. which yeah. is awesome. I have a pain, Julie, around the middle of my back, came around to my front, like my heart area in the back, but it's a complete pain. It was all the way around. Now it's in the back and a little bit in the front that I got doing this. It's still, it's still there. Hmm. Okay. But you didn't have it before? I, nope. Not so that's, that's not your pain. Yeah. You, yeah. You picked up something. I'll have to I'll have to work on that with you. Okay. Not not in a bad way. It's it, there's a reason for it. It's to show you something, and then we can just get rid of it. Okay. But it's not yours. This is for your this this is for your discernment, so that you can understand what's yours and what's not yours. Okay. And to remind you guys that you have to keep letting stuff go, Levon, yeah. especially Levon, because you hold stuff so much. Mm -hmm. Got to keep remembering to let stuff go through you and make yeah. sure that you're cleansing and bringing stuff out because you're taking on others pain and emotional issues and negative stuff. And that's why you're so heavy on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders right now. And it's not just your stuff. It's not just the opening or that stuff, which you kind of are like, Oh, it's just that it's, it's not, you're actually pretty light right now but you're not light because you've got a lot of other people's thoughts ideas right does that make sense yeah kind of sense yes absolutely do you have any like selenite so you can make sure that you or sage that you can cleanse yes because you got to do not, that yeah and i haven't been as common with my cleansing as i should be so you're yeah 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 you're spot on carrying a lot you're carrying too much stuff too mm -hmm. much stuff it's i can see it like i can see it yeah you are stacked you gotta and get i know it's that. not mine yeah and i know it's not mine mm -hmm. um yeah yeah ben are you how do you feel are you okay um well i've been i've been in, um incorporating fasting recently because I, I, I've been talk, thinking about it, then I spoke to my friend recently, and he is at his own spiritual breakthrough. And it's amazing because I never, he, he's someone I've not spoken to in a long time. And he just reached out to me out of the blue, and Spirit told me, hey, just connect with him. And he told me some stuff, and I really thought, I, you know, I'm working on those stuff. And um, so I've been incorporating fasting. So right now, I'm just, I know that, um, like, I feel like I'm going to be receiving more power, you know, like to be stronger for me to able to, you know, do all the things I need to do. Yeah. Cause I feel like, you know, my, my, my gas tank is, it's very small. So yeah. It's getting bigger now because, you know, now I'm really focused on, on things of the spirit and of the flesh. You know, I've, I've lost weight. But I don't even think about that, you know, because I know I'm gaining weight. I'm gaining all the stuff. Yeah. So right now I'm just, you know, going with the process, you know. Yeah. Seeing where it leads. You have lost weight. I could tell. Um, how long have you been fasting for? Well, it's not like because it's not. I you, you know I don't remember if I told you I I, I stopped eating meat. Yep. You know, because I I really feel like for the animals, you know, even though I, I've not really gotten anyone, but I still feel for them. So for a while, food has not been like a top of mind thing for me. Then my friend told me to fast. So usually I just do like from um from the last night to like 12 a.m., 12 noon. So I pray before 12. Like I made every, I've been doing it for like four days, three days now, you know, since Wednesday, yeah. So from there, I want to do like a water fasting for 24 hours and see, you know, just try to ease into it. Yeah. But yeah, that's where I am now. Yeah. 
So do you feel strong or do you feel, uh, uh, I mean, well, how do you, do you feel okay? Well, physically, I, I'm still doing all the stuff I need to do. Yeah. You know, um, um, both. I feel strong. In fact, you know, like I use the medicine. I've not used the medicine for a while now. I try to use it on the weekend and, and try to make it more sacred now because I use it a lot before. So, you know what I mean by the medicine, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So now I I feel I'm more I'm, I stay more in the present moment, just taking my breaths. You know, like breathe in as much as I can. I can't to calm down from. 49 to 1, you know, to make sure I'm in the present moment. And I feel like I am I'm anchoring, you know, the spirit without the medicine, you know. Yeah. So now I feel like I'm I'm gonna get stronger and yeah. Yeah. You know, your container's getting bigger. So just be careful of your energy because if your energy gets too low, then you won't be able to receive because you're physically gonna crash so that's what you don't want you know so just make sure that you're you eat enough because otherwise when that happens you you'll everything stops and you'll have to restart and that'll be a process that will do the opposite of what you're trying to accomplish so that's why i'm just trying to figure out make sure that you have like enough so that you're you have some power some you know like within your body and stuff like that but if you feel okay and you're you know, you have like electrolytes and stuff like that and you feel all right, then that's okay. I just don't want you to oh, well, I mean, go too far. Yeah, well, like, it's, I'm not really doing like heavy fasting. It's just like 12 o'clock. You know, it's kind of like a baby light work. <laughs> it's like fasting. an intermittent thing, right? Intermittent fasting like that? Yeah. yeah, more or less, you know. I've not really gone into the heavy stuff. I just want to get used to it. So I'm still eating. Um, I try to eat as much as I can. Yeah. Well, uh, it's still a process. I'm learning. I'm working on. And yeah. I will like I will just, I hear what you say, and I will make sure I add more to my, you know, yeah. my eating. Yeah. I just don't want you to, your body to crash because when that happens, then you'll have to restart, and it'll take some time. And you know what I mean. <clears throat> you just want to make yeah. sure that you have enough strength, in your body. I mean, your container's getting yeah. bigger, which is a good thing. Does that make sense? Just so that you're. Yeah. You're eating. You do have to still eat at some point. <laughs> but intermittent fasting, like I've never was... done that, but I've heard it. I've heard it works really well. I've just never done that. This, but I've yeah, heard well, it's really good. Yeah, because it's more like you know, like um, it's, it's like kind of a denier thing for like, like the things of the flesh. Yeah. You know, we don't really lose anything. What we lose, we gain. What we gain, we lose in some way. Right. So I'm. Um, I'm really excited for it because I feel like, you know, like it's going to help me out to, well, obviously I need to eat, to be strong, to do all the stuff I need to do. Yep. I just want to make more room for spirit, you know? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about that. That'll happen. No problem. Whether you're, you know, he'll, he's going to do his thing no matter what. So, but yeah, your container is getting bigger for sure. Just stay strong. And then and your your clarity will be very focused and very sharp, you know, which is what you want, which is a good thing. Exactly. Just make sure you're drinking your water and you're eating it enough so that you don't, you know, for me, I could never do that because I eat every couple hours. I just can't, I just can't do that. It's just not my, I'm just not built that way. But if it works for you, then that's great. And just, just make sure your strength is good. You're strong, you know? Thank you. Yeah. Well, um, Avon, I mean, if you have a few seconds, I can help mm-hmm. you. If you do, you have if you have time. Yeah. Do you do you want to do something while we're on together? Yeah. And matcha as well. Ben, you can stay if you want. I can stop recording. Um, let me do that. Let me stop recording. <laughs>